me come first to you, Mr. Balagopal. You had stated in December last year that the state is going through a very unprecedented financial crisis uh, with the COVID pandemic making it a lot worse. A few days ago, you said uh, the center has drastically cut down the state's borrowing limit to 15,390 crore, etc. So we would like to know from you, what exactly is the financial situation of the state? How fragile it is? Is it a situation where you have issues at the one, hand, one end? And also, is there a further squeezing of funds from the center? We'd like to your view, views on this. There is a recent report from the AG that the finances of Kerala is improving and there is a very good fiscal consolidation that is also there. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are facing a lot of uh, decisions by the union government which excuses our financial resources. There is a serious crunch is there. And if you take the services which we are giving, the facilities which we are, we, we are giving to the people, the largest, num largest percentage but in, in ratio to the population, the PSE appointment, we have the maximum number of P employees, we are not making it contract. We have a, a very big number of schools, around 13,500 schools, which is the largest uh, uh, pro rata ratio, it is the highest. But we can claim that we are having the highest expenditure in R&D with substantial data we have. And in the infrastructure sector, new kind of employment gen or, or, uh, generation, everything we are doing, a lot of things. So the question is not about the, uh, the spending or uh, uh, beneficial spending for the people. The question is how the union government is looking into the aspects of states. For example, I can, I can say, in the case of borrowing, our honorable prime minister said that some states are, may go like in the path of Sri Lanka. I can give one detail. In the last year budget, and the, this year budget, the union government is taking around 42% of its total receipts through borrowing. 42% of the total receipts of the union government is through borrowing. And 6.4% is the uh, deficit borrowing. See, actually, if you take states like us, our, yes, we are also taking, we have borrowing, but around 20% only. And uh, we are, uh, our, uh, uh, revenue deficit is within, well, within 3% now, or uh, uh, related to that. Because we cannot take any money more than the stipulated sanctions or uh, the, the, the approval, of, without the approval of the Reserve Bank. The issue now is coming that those money which we are taking under some special, special public sector or uh, special entity like KFP, Kerala Infrastructure Investment Fund Board, or some pension company, which government is giving only guarantee. That nowadays they are taking it into, uh, they are calculating it under the borrowing. That is the issue. So right. these issues are there, and I am not taking much time. So one thing I can say for the to total revenue resources of Kerala, we are making 71% our own. But at the same time, many of the states in the country, out of the total revenue receipts, they are making. Well, they are themselves, they are taking only 40%, 25%, 30%. If you need the state's list, that also I can give. Okay. So what, why this is happening? After GST, the total taxation structure is changed and their collection is going to, not controlled by the state. Then the borrowing they are controlling, there is a stepmotherly aptitude to the states, which they are not politically supporting. That is there. So grants also, there is a sharp decline in these years. Kerala state, state of Kerala is facing that. Many other states are also facing that. That is the issue. It is not a matter of the way where we are going. We are going with a strong financial consolidation path. Okay. 